was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment 
It Come must on. be Saint Nick. Come on. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted and Yay. called them by name. Now, Dasher! Now, Dancer! Now, Prancer and Vixen! On, Comet! On, Cupid! On, Downer and Blitzen! To the top of the porch, to the top of the walls. Now, dash away! Dash away! Dash away all! As the leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas Come on. too. In a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Time for this. The evening's just begun. <laughs> Come on, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Must we have all this stop, start, start, stop? Oh dear, oh dear. I can see we're likely to have a lot of bother tonight. I'm not moving another step unless Prancer stops kicking. He's got silly, skinny legs and big hooves. No, I haven't. Anyway, you keep jabbing me with your antlers. Mm -hmm. Well, you must admit, they are rather splendid antlers. My goodness, this is hardly the way to carry on. It's Christmas Eve. Besides, we have a few calls to make yet. How many? Well, now. Well, now. Let me see. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, and of course, there's a. Uh, oh, and there's a. Uh, ah, uh, yes, mustn't forget. To, uh, and uh, then we have to go. Oh! And all those down there. Plus, of course, all those. And then there's an... And, uh, oh, uh, and... Uh, plus... Oh, uh, <laughs> and those... Uh, oh, and finally, must remember, that makes... Two billion, four thousand, and ninety-three. I think. No problem. It may be no problem for you, Comet, but you're not up here at the front. We have to work twice as hard as you. Mm, that's right. 
But we have to put up with all your tugging and pulling. It's difficult for us to try to keep in line. You're quite trying enough, my dear. <laughs> come along, come along. I've got all those stockings to fill. I can't be doing with all this bickering. And what's the matter with you two? Donner, Blitzen, you're both rather quiet. Blitzen's homesick. Homesick, is he? Yes, I'm afraid so. I say, old fella, you're with friends here, isn't he? Yes. 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 <laughs> it's just that I wanted to be back at home for for Christmas morning. He wants to be back in time to open his, his stocking with his brothers and sisters. Oh, is that it? Well, we can soon fix that. We'll all work twice as hard and twice as fast. Won't we? You see, we'll have you back home in a jiff. I've just got to finish this job, and we'll be off. Then you'll be in time for a happy Christmas. Come on, everyone. Come on, everyone. We must help him out, or we'll never finish this in time for Blitzen to be with his family. Come on. Yes, yes, I'll help. He's going to need our help again. Oh. Quick, pass me the reins. We must help him out. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed oh. all in fur, from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had slung on his back. And he looked like a peddler, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And his beard on his chin 
was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. <laughs> a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the <laughs> chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh. To his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.